Well, hello YouTube subscribers, Captain Dave in the Wolf Den. What I'm showing you here is a direct relationship to when you visit my Amazon Tools of the Trade page, in which, you know, I get micro pennies, okay, um, and most of the stuff on there is stuff that I use and have reviewed and talked about in various videos. Well, here is another one. I had a couple bucks in my Amazon account and I decided, you know, there's one thing that you burn like matchsticks when you fish around here in Northeast Florida and I'm sure other places is jig heads. So what I'm showing you here tilt the camera down even a little bit more, is jig heads. And these jig heads, the neat, let me get more light. Okay, there you go. These jig heads are now on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. Always that link is in the video description below to my Amazon page. I've got tons of stuff on there and uh, these are on there now okay the hardest thing to do or to find is kind of quality jig heads but aren't super expensive because around here you burn them like matchsticks and what is the number one I'd say the number one of all time fishing rig in Northeast Florida is nothing more than a jig and a shrimp. You can catch everything on a jig and shrimp. Yeah, if you don't know, jigs and shrimp weren't the big deal 25 years ago. And some of this started putting just shrimp on a jig head. And let me show you something. Well, there you go. St. Augustine Record Newspaper. This right here is an article. That's me. And I took out the St. Augustine Record Newspaper sports editor. Jim Sutton and with jigs and shrimp we caught redfish, jacks, ringtail porgies, bluefish, Spanish mackerel, yellow mouth trout, sheepshead flounder and little puppy drum this day on the south jetty. Now this has to be 20 something years ago. Okay. And he talks about in the article how we went through 20 dozen shrimp. And he says, why 20 dozen? The answer is simply that that's all we could find. So we got 20 dozen instead of 24 dozen. Because back then, at the St. Augustine Jetty, Nobody was fishing it with a jig and a shrimp and the monster yellow mouth trout weak fish were out there and you could burn them like no tomorrow. And that's what we did. So this is the article from years ago. That's me and my old 23 Maycraft with a T-top on it and I'm sitting on the fish box full of fish, sheepshead and a yellow mouth trout. That's back when I call it the good old days. So, there's a rich history, if you want to call it that, of jigs and shrimp. Now, back then, the only real piles of jigs you could find and ones that I used to buy were literally Bass Pro Shops sold lead-headed ball jigs, freshwater ones, 
with a fine wire hook. But that's okay, because back then we were using mono. There was no braided line. There was no trolling motor bullshit, GPS, getting in the way of people that are anchoring. No, it was a different world back then. We used jig heads. They had a fine little wire hook. They were made for bass, crappies, walleye, you know, whatever. And you could buy them in 25 packs. So I used to use six and eight pound test mono and an absolute buggy whip of a rod. Or you just pull the hook or bend the hook. But as time has gone on, and now with braid, you can actually up the hook. So these are the ones, these are some kind of black something hooks, and I mean ungodly sharp. Ungodly. Let me pull out another set of jig heads that I got here. Let me see. Here we go. Now these are some other ones that I've been using. These aren't on my Tools of the Trade page. But there's a half, half ounce with an Eagle Claw Gold 635 hook, I believe. All right. So you can see these jig heads are very similar. Very similar. Okay. You can buy these sometimes at Wally's World and... You don't need a fancy jig head. Man, all these all these <laughs> newbie, wannabe, hoo-yahs, as I like to refer to, oh, they got to have the, the swinging head, and they've got to have this, and oh, they got to do that for the sheep's head. And Man, them fish don't give a shit what you're using. If they're hungry, they're going to eat it. So that's a half ounce. I had some three-eighths here somewhere, but... That's the ones that are on my Tools of the Trade page that you can get through Amazon. I actually have two sets. Two sets. These are literally right here. These were the ones that are called At Atabin. Atabin. Barb. A T. A T I B I N. I don't know. That's the company or whatever. So, uh, I'll show you how they come. They're all separate here in 25 packs. They come in this plastic little thing. And, uh, let's see. They're all taped up, which is nice, so they don't just sit there breaking apart in the packaging. So that that's good. And, you know, the big deal is just the burnability. I mean, can you imagine how many I would use with four non-super fishermen? There's the Chinese writing. 10 grams, 2-odd hook, 25. But, I mean, on a good day, you know, I could sit there and burn practically 25 of them to four people. Because they're not used to throwing a jig head into a pile of 10-ton granite boulders. Covered in every piece of schmutzy growth that the ocean can throw at it. So this is how they come. And um, they were very reasonably priced. I mean, so I've got 75 of them here. I figured that'll take a while to burn these. <coughs> I got a bunch of these in the boat. But uh, I just wanted to show them to you. 3 8 ounce is pretty much kind of the go-to for me. And I've got other videos where how you put the shrimp on. I don't have a shrimp here with me. But basically, if, 
this is the head of the shrimp on my knuckle and this is the shrimp's tail. I always go one or two digits up all the way through, push it, and then back in. So the shrimp is going to be sitting on the hook in a C shape, protecting the hook, basically. I'm not poking this hook sticking way out or anything, but protecting the hook from getting hung up a lot. All right, so then when you snap it and you twitch it and it's falling, it looks like a shrimp that went, you know, snap and, you know, shrimp go backwards like crawdads. Shrimp don't go forward like a fish. Shrimp go backwards. The only way they go forward is by walking or kind of swimming. But when they're scared, they snap backwards. There you go. Just a little bit of uh, tackle info here in the wolf den. I, they just got, these just got delivered. Guess what? I forgot all about them. But you can find them in the link below. My Amazon Tools of the Trade page. Plus, I put up another brand also because I'd like to try those. So I figured I'd throw up a couple different brands. So there's 75 jigs. Jigs, <laughs> these ain't cheap anymore either. Even at Wally's World, they're not cheap anymore. And I mean, you only get them when you get these uh, six six same thing with the three eight ounce three eight ounce you get six six i don't use six of nothing so all right if you found this informative and if you uh might be interested in trying these it doesn't matter if you're in northeast florida or if you're in south i could go to southeast florida put a shrimp on a jig and pitch it up near some structure and i could catch a fish so it works anywhere I'll see you on the next one.